Hey there. Today we're going to be going over dumbbell routine number two. The first exercise of the second routine is going to be dumbbell chest press. So you'll want to start off with a set of dumbbells as well as a bench. You're going to take a seat, roll back, and start the dumbbells right in the armpit. Press straight up and come right back down. Nice and controlled with each rep. Now, if you don't have a bench, you can also use the ground as an option. You won't have as good a range of motion, so we always recommend the bench first. But if you do need to, we can go down to the ground and I'll show you what that looks like. You'll lie back, start with the arms extended up, bring the elbows down to touch the ground, keeping the arm, forearm perpendicular to the ground, and then straight back up. With all of these exercises, what you're going to want to do is, if you're going for strength, meaning you have your cardiovascular exercises that you're getting elsewhere, rather, whether it be running, biking, hiking, or any other type of cardio exercise, then you'll want to do a little bit less in terms of repetition, maybe 10 to 15, with a little bit longer break in between exercises. If this is your main source of exercise and cardio, you'll want to go a little bit faster tempo and 20 repetitions for each exercise. And you'll also want to cut that rest down short because you're really trying to keep that cardio going. The next exercise we're going to do is the reverse fly. Now this is a little more difficult. You'll want a little bit lighter weight. So grab a smaller pair of dumbbells if you have them. Take a seat on the edge of the bench or step or chair depending on what you're using. Kick your feet out so your arms can rest underneath your legs and keep your chest down on your thighs. First motion you'll want to do is opening the chest and contract the shoulder blades together and then come right back down. And what that looks like from the front. Our next exercise we're going to do is the lateral lunge. With the lateral lunge, you'll only need a single dumbbell and you'll want to stand with a very wide stance. Your first motion is going to be to shift the hips back and then drop it down towards one of your heels, right back up and down to the other side. With this exercise, always keep the chest up. Don't shift and then bend over. If you have a movement restriction in the hips, simply go as far as you can comfortably and then right back to center. As you start progressing, you will notice your flexibility will increase, but don't force it if it's not comfortable. From the side, shift them back and then drop. Our next exercise is going to be the weighted step up. For the weighted step up, you'll want to hold two dumbbells and you'll want to grab a step or if you're at home, you can use a stable chair or stool or if you have stairs outside your house, you can use that as well. Place one foot up on that step, drive the opposite knee and come right back down, keeping that initial leg elevated on the step the whole time. Go ahead and do all of your repetitions on one leg first before switching over and equaling it out on the other leg. Our next exercise is going to be a Superman. With this one, you're going to want to lie flat on the ground. If you have a mat, go ahead and use it, otherwise carpet is just fine. Start with the arms fully extended out as well as the legs. You're going to bring the chest and thighs off the ground together, count to three, and come right back down. If you choose to add weight with this movement, you'll want to grab a single dumbbell, hold it in your hands, and do the same motion, lifting the weight up, holding three seconds, coming right back down. And as I mentioned earlier, if you're looking for strength, you'll want to go a little heavier, 10 to 15 reps. If you're looking for a little more cardio, you'll want to go faster tempo, 20 reps, and then cut that rest in between exercises down. 
Our next exercise is for balance. You're going to want a single dumbbell. Start balancing on one foot, and once you feel stable, extend the dumbbell out to one side, bring it back to center, and then out to the other side and back. That would be one rep, making sure you get each side before you count that rep. And of course, being sure you get both legs. All right, that wraps, that wraps up routine two. Hope to see you guys for our next video.